Hi guys, back again with another video. Now in this video, we are going to do the real life review and the setup of the Wipro Smart Bulb Garnet. Now this is a 12.5 volts uh, bulb. I've already made a video on this. Now this is a 2021 edition bulb which has music sync in it. So we'll be looking at the new feature. I'll be setting it up uh, right now over here like this. So you'll be seeing the bulb. Uh, we'll be seeing the entire setup process. Then we'll be talking about what's new. We'll be comparing it with the previous version also. So it's a comparison, review and a setup video. So let's go ahead and start with what's inside the box and then we'll do the setup. Let's go. So that's what you get in the box. So you get the bulb and a quick start guide. So the quick start guide uh, is different now because uh, now the setup process is different. It just tells you uh, connect it with Wi-Fi, switch on your Bluetooth on your phone and then uh, just open up the software and uh, uh, connect the bulb. So as soon as you press uh, add device, it will automatically detect it. Now, one more thing you have to remember is all these smart devices, uh, the bulbs and stuff, they work on 2.4 gigahertz network. So that's what you get. Let's remove this. Let's put the bulb in and then start the setup. Let me get the other phone. Okay, so now let's see how to actually set it up. So all I have to do is open up the Wipro app and then put the bulb in. Once you put the bulb in, the bulb will automatically start blinking. You see it's blinking. Now all I have to do is press the plus button here and that's it. It will automatically show the bulb because through Bluetooth it's already detected it. I'll go to add and then add it and it will just ask for my Wi-Fi password. So this is the 2 gigahertz one. I'll have to put in the password. Okay, so I put in the password and I just have to wait. Let me just skip it here. So, okay, so it stopped blinking and the setup is done. So now it will just finish this process, uh, device found, then registering device to smart cloud and all that and done. That's it. It's done. So that's how easy this was. Now let's take a look at the interface. Uh, I think this is too bright. Let me dim this a little bit. So the brightness control has moved here now. So that's the brightness control over here. A lot of people can't even find it. So it's actually a little hidden. So this is your white. So you can go from white to yellow. All the setting is here. You, uh, you can go into reading mode. You can go into uh, TV mode, leisure mode and all those kind of things. But uh, I actually like the previous version better because everything was written down. This is all icons. Now you have dimmer. You have OK in, in this you have uh, this is your white and yellow. Then you have your color. So this is your color cycle. So I can actually move this to wherever I want how bright I want it, how dark I want it. Everything can be adjusted from here. Control the brightness and control this like that. I think it will be better if I switch off the studio light. Alexa, switch off the studio light. Okay. Okay, now you can see this better. Uh, so that's how this works. So you can choose what kind of lighting you want so you already have rgb uh, the green blue yellow and uh, red uh, color here not rgb so you can choose one of that and then straight away start if not just move your finger through the color cycle so that's the thing then you have scene mode so scene mode you have it in your previous version also so you have the night read working leisure soft colorful dazzling and gorgeous so so i like gorgeous because it's uh, it uh, it fades into the next color now this is dazzling where it will just jump into the next color so it's a little harsh then you have color then you have soft so there are a lot of different ones then you have the music one so how the music one actually works is you have so the uh, software will use the mic of this phone and then uh, if it detects any music it will send that here and then uh, that's how it works so we'll be looking at that in the end and then you have your schedules your plans your timers the rhythms so you can uh, actually choose your rhythm like when you wake up what it should switch off automatically when sunlight uh, uh, I mean you have sunlight option wake up option comfortable option so there are a lot of different options which are here if I want to open that up according to the day according to the time the uh, daytime nighttime and stuff we can set that up I'm not setting it up right now 
I like to manually control my devices and then you have your power behavior in case uh, the power goes off then what should happen it should uh, automatically go back to the same color that was there before or you want uh, uh, oh. so you want a selected uh, color whatever so you can choose all the settings here so whenever you switch it on it will automatically go to that setting in case the power goes off so all those options are here now let's see the music option i will have to uh, actually this is a good option let me just start it here i'll need something to play music on okay so let's see how the music option actually works so i'll have to start the option from here it'll ask me for permission for uh, the music so now whatever it hears in uh, the mic the it whatever uh, beat it hears it will actually send it here so this is actually working on my sound whatever i'm saying now let me just play something like this is my channel's intro Okay, so you saw even after the music was off, it kept blinking a little bit. So there's a delay between the mic picking up the sound and then sending it here. So uh, yes, it does look good, but it's not there. What I actually thought, uh, it's not that kind of an option. So that's all. That's it for the setup and unboxing and the uh, music sync test. Now let's go ahead and talk about the bulb. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing, uh, the setup process, the music sync function. Now let's talk about uh, the bulb. Uh, so basically it's a good bulb. Uh, the technology has improved a little bit. So before uh, it, it, the Wipro software was actually the same as the Chinese software, the Tuya software. So most of my devices are connected with Tuya instead of Wipro uh, because of the Apple Watch support. So I can actually, Wipro doesn't uh, support the Apple Watch. With my Apple Watch, uh, Tuya works and then I connected all my devices with that and I control my devices with my Apple watch so here uh, that will not work the new bulb is totally different even if I try to connect it with Tuya it does not work so you will have to use the Wipro app exclusively so if you want to use it with your Apple watch and stuff it will not work so even though this is new uh, it still does not support Apple watch uh, but what I like is the setup process uh, the setup process is very simple now you do not have to do the uh, button uh, switch on switch off process three times and then wait for it to blink and then select and all that thing now because there's built-in Bluetooth in uh, in this bulb it does the phone just directly as soon as you press add it just directly finds the bulb and then sets it up for you so the process is easy it's very smooth uh, so if I compare both the bulbs the technology has definitely improved now uh, coming to the music sync option I think it's just um, an option which is just there um, because it's sending the signal via Wi-Fi it's not working with Bluetooth it's working with Wi-Fi I actually switched off Bluetooth and then tried it so it actually works with Wi-Fi by the time it actually sends the beat there and there's, there's a lot of delay and it's not like how I imagined it to be I imagined the light to go like with every beat like it should do that but this is like the light is just changing there's no variation in the light there's no brightness going uh, high and low and nothing it's just the light changing so which is exactly the same as a scene mode so it's just that the scene mode is controlled by a beat so did not really like the feature that much did not end up using it that much but i do uh, realize that the bulb uh, actually responds much better than the previous one the wi-fi range is also much better so uh, it's an improvement over the previous one uh, music sync is just a gimmicky thing over there don't think about music sync uh, you've seen how it actually works so I've been testing it for a long time you will end up not using it anyways but if the choice is between the previous one and the new one the new one is definitely better 
and it's much more cheaper the, the old one i actually got it for 700 and something and the new one is for 600 and something so uh, that's on sale i don't know what's the price right now i'll put the link it keeps changing but uh, whatever it is it'll be below 800 rupees so for that i think it's actually a good purchase so that's it for this video if you like the video please subscribe with the like button and do comment and i'll see you again with another video Bye bye.